It was a story that tugged on the heartstrings of Sean O'Driscoll and the players. Nine-year-old season ticket holder Shelley Melhuish has been busy fundraising for Cancer Research UK after her granddad Pete had been diagnosed with tonsil cancer. She made wristbands to sell in school and wrote to her favourite football team to see if they could provide some support in raising awareness. They duly delivered, with the entire first team squad and management staff turning up at a school in Bradley Stoke, to the amazement of children and teachers alike. Lots of my friends, um, family and my family have, uh, have relatives in with cancer. I was actually really scared when I, when I, um, when I started the day and I was um, just petrified of what was going to happen, but I have really enjoyed it. O'Driscoll addressed the whole school at their morning assembly to explain Shelley's story, while the players took part in classroom question and answer sessions and sporting activities. The players will now don the wristbands in the warm-up ahead of the Sheffield United game, before auctioning them off to raise vital funds for cancer research. I think what you want, you want your, you want your, your city or your town or whatever to be proud of your football club and that. The biggest thing is winning on a Saturday and, and being successful. So I think everybody understands that. But uh, you know, you can you can still be proud of your football club for the other things it does. And uh, football does an awful lot of good that doesn't get publicised because it's not it's not news. You know, mm. if your team loses on a Saturday or wins on a Saturday, that's 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 what takes the headlines. But uh, football clubs up and down the country do an awful lot in the community. Shelley especially enjoyed meeting her favourite player, J. Emmanuel Thomas, who introduced the class to the Harlem Shake and put her in touch with hip-hop star Chipmunk. I was on the phone to Chipmunk um, and he was asking how's Bristol and do you like my music and stuff like that. She's taken me around all the classes and uh, she's been a very good help for me today and I hope that she gets what she wants out of this. The school thoroughly enjoyed welcoming their local football team into the premises for the day, something that lived long in the memory for children and staff. Oh, it's excellent because what it's able to do is inspire our children, our pupils, to go for goals in terms of sport and their own personal aspirations. And we're really excited because they get to meet real uh, players who do the job day in, day out, and see their role models actually reading, talking to them and interacting with them. The players were suitably impressed too. We were greeted like we were some sort of pop stars when we, when we walked in, but no, it was... It was really good, they all seemed to enjoy it, so um, it's made the, made the day very pleasing. It's a really nice walk, obviously, all the kids making noise in the assembly hall was a great feeling. Um, just hoping, obviously, they can get to see some us again in the future. The good news is that Shelley's granddad, Pete, is now in remission. And if you'd like to back her campaign, check out the club's eBay account in days to come to bid for one of the wristbands and help raise funds for Cancer Research UK.